In this video, I'll show you how to create a custom WooCommerce product archive page using Elementor Loop Builder. Let's get straight into it. Okay, for example, we'll create a custom archive page similar to this one here. Of course, you can be more creative than I am here. So essentially here, I've added the product name, price, um, review count, the product image, and I've automatically added a black and white filter to all our products. And then we've got the add to cart button here as well. And this is all created using Elementor Loop item. If you want to create a similar setup in your WooCommerce store, let's get straight into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is create our loop items. So we'll navigate over to templates and then theme builder, and then we'll go ahead and create our loop item. Let's click add new. So we'll navigate over to settings and we just want to tweak the display. Okay, so for the preview settings, we'll select a product and then I'll go ahead and search for our AG1 product. Hit apply preview. Okay, and then for the query, we'll also choose products as well. So click apply again. All right, and now we can actually go ahead and build out our loop item. So first we'll select the product name. Okay, we'll show the product image. And let's go ahead and show the product price. And let's add the add to cart button as well. Let's tweak the design slightly. Okay, so for the featured image, we want to actually link this over to the product page because more often than not, customers will click on the product image and expect to go to the product page. So let's just click on this here, select custom URL, and then from this settings option, we'll select a post URL. All right, and that's fine. Let's go style. All right, so we'll set this to P for the link. Again, we'll dynamically link it over to the product page. Okay, so I'm happy with this so far. So let's just hit publish. Okay, so let's customize the title just so we know what this is for. So we'll just say product and then we'll hit update. Let's head back over to the theme builder. All right, so we'll click on product archive and then we'll just add a new product archive page. Okay, let's X this off. Let's add our archive title. Okay, so before you'd usually just add the archive products here which would look something like this. However, it doesn't give you the ability to add extra information related to each product. For example, you can add a custom meta field and a loop item, whereas here it's not possible to do so. You're stuck with the default options that's provided by Elementor. So I'm just going to remove this and then we'll select loop item grid. Okay, so you can create a template from here, but since we've already created one beforehand, we'll go ahead and select products and then we can search for the template which we created earlier, which is this Woo product one. It's displaying our loop item fine. It doesn't look the best so far, but we'll go ahead and customize this um, later on. Okay, so for the query, we'll go ahead and select current query because it makes sense that this is dynamically populated based on the archive page right pagination will select numbers and for this column okay so let's hit publish let's add a condition for all product archive and then we'll just save and close okay so now let's view this on our website okay so this is how it looks so far again it doesn't look the best so we'll go ahead and tweak this we'll set this back to box width and we'll set the width to 1600 now let's refresh this page okay and this is looking slightly better so we need to reduce the image size so let's go ahead and do this now we'll head back over to theme builder and then we'll edit our loop item i'm going to set the image size to medium to reduce the width of this overall loop item because previously it was showing as the full width which was breaking our layout so let's hit update Okay, and this is looking slightly better. So we've reduced the loop item width, right? So we fixed it to 300 pixels. Now we need to add some space in between the add to cart button as well. So let's do that now. So we'll add 10 pixels. And let's make the pricing a bit more prominent as well. So let's change this. Okay, let's update this. And now let's refresh this page. Okay, so let's tweak this archive page. And let's navigate back over to theme builder let's go product archive and then let's edit this archive page so i'm going to make this centered let's add some margin in between the page title let's add the archive description let's make sure this is centered as well and now we can just hit update okay so now let's refresh this page once more if we view the category page 
Okay, so here we can see the category page and let's quickly add some description just so we can see it. And this is how it looks with our category description. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.